color, a sixth alphabetical English word has the power to change anyone's life from A to Z. Like this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shall we begin? First of all, I would like to ask you some of the questions which goes as follows. Do you know how many colors can a human eye perceive? Do you know what is a color wheel? How many colors are there in a rainbow? Have you heard about analogous color scheme? What do you understand by complementary and split complementary color scheme? Have you ever heard about triad and tetrad scheme of colors? And if you want to know the answers for all of these questions, kindly stay tuned for watching this video till the end. Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. I am I, Muhammad Ibrahim, Architecture and Interior Designing Projects. Since you have been watching my videos on different topics, in this video we would be learning about colors, color wheel and color theory which is very important to understand and apply in each and every one of our lives personally as well as professionally so let us start the show colors play a vital role in our personal life as well as in our homes be it choice of wallpaper wall paint curtains bed sheets pillow covers, furniture, etc. Colors come first. Without it, even the most expensive furniture would not look good. Am I right? Colors can stretch spaces, shrink furniture, rise or lower the ceiling heights, create moods and affect the emotions. Everyone has an eye for colors, whether one knows or not. Everyone needs a little knowledge on color schemes and color wheel. The atmosphere you create governs the choice of colors. Ask yourself few questions such as is the ceiling high or low? Are the rooms well sunlit or dark? Do you want to use strong contrast having striking colors? Or do you want to establish a warm and cozy feeling by using varying shades of the same color you cannot change many things in a same room but the clever use of the colors may highlight the good points and help hide the bad ones the human eye can perceive approximately 10 million different colors but there are only three primary colors which by mixing creates secondary colors and tertiary colors Primary colors are red, blue and yellow. Secondary colors are the three colors you get if you mix equal parts of the three primaries. Orange which is formed by mixing yellow and red. Green which is formed by mixing yellow and blue. And purple or violet which is formed by mixing blue and red. Tertiary colors. Tertiary colors result when a primary color is mixed with its nearest secondary color. The resulting hues are blue-green, yellow-green, yellow-orange, red-orange, red-purple and blue-purple. We must also become familiar with common color terms. Hue is simply another word for color. Value refers to the lightness or darkness of a color. Tints are colors closest to white in value or in other words you get tint when you add white to any color. Most pastels fall into the category of tints. Similarly you get shade when black is added to any color. Deep purple, midnight blue, forest green etc are called shades. Neutral colors. Neutrals are the uncolors like black, white, gray, brown, and beige. Colors can raise or lower the visual temperature of a room. Red, yellow, orange, and similar colors are warm colors. 
These are the colors of sunshine. The cool colors include blue, green, violet and similar colors. If the room is on southwest and gets lot of sunshine, use cool colors. But for the rooms situated on north or east side, warm colors are recommended. The rooms which face south or west receives a great deal of sunshine. To lower the temperature, use cool colors like green and blue. You can also use various shades and tints of the same color. Warm colors can raise the temperature of otherwise cool rooms who do not get or get very little sunshine. But it is better to strike a balance between cool and warm colors. Natural light is not the only consideration. Artificial light has dramatic effects on colors. It is essential that you must be aware of it. Incandescent light adds a warm yellow cast of colors, but fluorescence tends to cool down the colors and bring out greenish blue. Cove level light may make colors look darker. Bright colors fight depression. Neutrals are soothing to the spirit and red encourages a sense of warmth. There are various types of color schemes. Color wheel can help you a lot of learning about the color schemes. Let us discuss them one by one. Monochromatic colors. This is a one color scheme. Mono means one. Chromac means color. Various values or intensities of same colors are used to color the walls, ceilings, furnitures, curtains, etc. and other items. Monochromatic scheme of colors create a restful and quiet environment which reflect light and shade differently in a monochromatic scheme. Analogous scheme of colors. Here are two safe examples. Analogous colors. It is also called adjacent color schemes because it consists of colors immediately adjacent to each other on the color wheel. Contrasting color schemes are produced by combining colors that are far apart on the color wheel. They are complementary, split complementary, triad and tetrad. Complementary scheme. For example, yellow purple, yellow green and red purple, green and red, blue green, red orange, blue and orange, blue purple, yellow orange. Complementary scheme. There are six pairs of colors that are directly opposite to each other on the color wheel. They are yellow and purple, orange and blue, red and green, yellow green and purple red, blue green and red orange, blue purple and yellow orange. Split complementary scheme of colors. The split complementary color scheme consists of two colors that join its complements on the color wheel. Split complementary colors. It consists of three colors. It is obtained by using one color with other two colors that join its complement on the color wheel. Following are the examples of split complementary color scheme. Yellow, blue purple, red purple. Purple is yellow's complement. Red, yellow green, blue green. Green is the red's complement. Purple, yellow green, yellow orange. Blue, red orange, yellow orange. Triad scheme. For example, yellow, red, blue, green, orange, purple. Triad scheme of colors. It consists of three colors that are equidistant on the color wheel. If the colors are subdued, the scheme could be well balanced. Some triads are yellow, red, blue, green, orange, purple, blue, green, red, purple, and yellow, orange. In all color schemes, only one color should be dominating. Generally, walls are the largest areas and it is wise to use a basic color on the walls. Basic color should be used on 65 to 70 percent of the whole color scheme of the room. Second color should be in lesser quantity and if third or fourth color are being used as in triad or tetrad schemes, they should be in least quantity. Tetrad scheme of colors, for example, red orange, purple, yellow, blue, green, yellow orange, red, green, blue, purple. A tetrad is formed by four colors equidistant on the color wheel.
One important point should be remembered that colors seem to change radically according to the circumstances under which it is viewed. Take the example of red color. If put near blue, the red appears yellower. Near yellow, it appears bluer. Sunlight is refracted into seven colors in the color spectrum. These are violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Each color has its own qualities and effects. So guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're a new visitor to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for getting the new updates whenever I post a new video. And if you want to leave a comment, you can leave the comment in the comment section box below. And don't forget to share it with your colleagues and friends. Like this. Like this.